Dear Pastor Bob, before I became a Christian, I had been practicing witchcraft for a very long time. I've renounced it all and no longer practice it. By the way, that's awesome. Welcome to the family, my friend. When I pray, instead of a satanic altar, I light three candles, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I have an altar for him where I have my Bible and my notebook. I've practiced this ritualistic pattern for years, and it helps me to focus and feel reverent. Can I still do this and honor God? I have a friend who advises that I'm just opening the doors to the possibility of falling away from God and returning back to the occult. What are your thoughts? You know, I, I can't help but just feel excited when I read this, that you're following the Lord and you've come to this place in your life. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the family. That's so awesome. I remember um, visiting the apartment of a very famous uh, singer, metal singer, and you would know who it was if I told you the name, and I'm not, and don't ask me. But I was helping somebody move out of the apartment and he was on uh, tour. And <clears throat> very satanic altar in the apartment. He was very much into the occult. And I remember thinking, there's just no way this guy's ever gonna get saved. And we prayed for him a lot. And he is a Christian today. So exciting. So exciting that these kind of things happen, you know? And yet, folks, there's still more that need to be rescued from that as well. But what do you do when you come out of something and you begin something else? You know, a lot of times it's simply, what do you feel comfortable with? I have a favorite chair that I pray and read the Bible in, and that's what I use to celebrate my faith. It works for me. It's awesome for me. And so I think that's the bottom line for me, that, you know, I feel comfortable in the place that I'm at when I read, when I pray, and every time I move, the chair is set up, and I that's where I go. And out of that chair, I don't feel as comfortable. I understand that, and I think that's fine. Whatever works for you, as long as you're communicating with the Father, He doesn't see where you're at, because He looks at your heart anyway. And whatever works for you, for that communication to go on, that's great. And some of the rest of you that are struggling in your walk with the Lord and spending time with God, maybe this is an idea for you. Choose a place that feels comfortable for you, something that works for you, and celebrate your faith there. God bless you. Have a great day. Oh.